Hi, my name is Amod Singhal. I'm an IT consultant who enjoys making complex technical material easy to understand. This is one in a series of SQL tutorials for business analysts and report writers. In this tutorial, we'll explore when joining tables whether filter conditions should be in the on or the where clause. Two questions arise. One, when joining tables, does it matter if I put filter conditions in the where clause or in on? And two, if it does, where should I put the filter conditions? First, the short answers. For inner join, it does not matter where the filter condition is. The result is the same whether the filter condition is in on or where. However, for outer join, the result may differ for on versus where. For both outer and inner join, it is recommended to use the following rule of thumb. Use on clause criteria for pairing rows from the two tables you're joining and use where clause criteria for further filtering the paired rows. This way, you get the results you would intuitively expect and your SQL code will better reflect your intent, making it easier to maintain it in future. Let's look at some examples to better understand why the above answers make sense. The customers and rewards tables will be used in the examples in this tutorial. The customers table has two columns, customer ID and customer name. It has three customers with customer IDs A, B, and C respectively. The rewards table has three columns one of which is customer ID. This table has rewards transactions for customer IDs A and C from the customer's table, but not for customer ID B. As noted earlier, inner join gives the same result for criteria in on versus where. In the first query, the condition requiring the customer ID to be either A or B is stated in the where clause. In the second query, the same condition is ended on to the on clause. Both queries return the same result. For outer join, it does matter whether the condition is in where versus on. In this left join, the condition is in the where clause. The query returns the result shown. The second query has the same criteria in the on clause. It gives a different result, including an extra row for customer ID C. Let's take a look under the hood to understand what is happening. Recall that the from clause, along with its subclause join, executes before the where clause. Also, recall that the outer join first computes an inner join by applying on conditions and then adds outer rows. Putting the two together, the overall order of execution is 1. Compute inner join applying the on criteria. 2. Add outer rows completing the outer join. And 3. Apply the where criteria. Note that outer rows are added after executing the on condition, but before executing where. This is why for inner join, since there is no outer row to add, on and where give the same result. Also, this explains why on versus where matters for outer joins. Let's look at how the result for each of the queries is computed. The first step is to compute an inner join applying the on criteria. For the first query, this step gives the three rows shown 
in which the customer ID is same in the customers and rewards tables. For the second query, the additional condition in on clause gets rid of the row for customer Cindy because the customer ID must be either A or B. In step two, outer rows are added. For the first query, the result from step one already has customer IDs A and C. So the row for customer ID B is added as an outer row. For the second query, the result has only customer ID A. So outer rows for C and B are added in. There is no WHERE clause, so this is the final result for this query. In step 3, the first query applies the WHERE criteria to the result from step 2, getting rid of the row for customer ID C. The second query was already completed in step 2. The final results for both queries are shown. Clearly, the results are different for criteria in ON versus WHERE. The second query has a row for customer ID C, even though the criteria stated that customer ID must be either A or B. Let's stop for a moment and examine the two queries. If your intent was to exclude customer ID C from the final result, the first query produced what you would have expected while the second did not, because its result includes customer IDs. So, for outer join, place the filter criteria in on only if you understand what to expect. Note that you're always safe in putting the criteria for joining the tables in the on clause and criteria for final filtering of the result in the where clause. A word of caution though, be aware that sometimes, depending on the data and the filter criteria, on and where may give identical results. For example, for the data that we have, if we change the filter criteria to include customer IDs in A, B, or C, the two queries will give the same result as shown. Finally, to recap, there are three takeaways from this tutorial. First, rule of thumb, use on for pairing rows between tables and use where for the final filtering. Two, inner join gives the same result whether the criteria is in on or where. And finally, three, depending on the data and the filter criteria, outer join may give the same or different results for on versus where. And that ends this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and look forward to your feedback and comments. Thank you.